Let's get right to KPX 5's Justin Andrews live with the new video and findings on that shooting. Justin. Now, we just got those new details just minutes ago. The chief told us uh, that there are two investigations going on right now, but the, he also told us that uh, his officers were in plain clothes and in an unmarked police car. So take a look at the video we just got minutes ago directly from this press conference. This is Demetrius Stanley. He's the man police shot and killed. He's the one you see in this video with the gun. This was all caught on house surveillance cameras, and you see Stanley walking back and forth near an unmarked car. Then he opens the car door eventually and points the gun. That's when shots were fired. Family members say he was protecting his family inside the house and didn't know who the two cops were outside. The chief says they never announced themselves. The officers never announced themselves because they were not there to arrest Stanley or have any contact with him. Stanley, though, was involved in an assault with a deadly weapon back in March, and he had been arrested and out on jail. The chief says officers were there gathering some type of information about additional charges that came out. Family members say they were all arrested and police ransacked the home before telling them Stanley was killed. A search warrant was obtained for the house, uh, so a search uh, was conducted of the residence. Generally, pr uh, good practice or good idea not to traumatize the family uh, if, you know, whatever a crime team that we have. So we didn't intend uh, for this these circumstances to uh, to occur, um, you know, when confronted, um, like the officers were confronted, um, you know, they um, made, made a decision. Now, this officer involved shooting left demonstrators shutting down the freeway last night, taking the streets to protest the shooting. Protesters marched onto northbound 87 to Taylor Street, ended up right here at the San Jose Police Headquarters. The officer who killed Stanley has about 14 years uh, of experience on the force. We also know that the chief says there are two investigations. I mentioned that earlier. One, to make sure that these officers followed proper protocol. The other is a criminal investigation. We're live at San Jose Police Headquarters this afternoon. I'm Justin Andrews, KPIX 5.